<laughs> Bonus. All right. Ty and I both have been in a situation where people have gotten mad at us because of something that we did or we said. But in in the end, it turns out that they were really mad because of their past trauma, like their experience from their past trauma. Do you think that we should apologize or do you think the person should find a way to deal with their trauma and stop blaming others? Um, Simone? If you know <laughs> that something is triggering for somebody. No, no, no. We didn't know. Oh, okay. We didn't, we but didn't but know. not only that, you can't walk around their triggers. They need to work that shit out. Uh-uh. But if you know something... If you know something is triggering for somebody, that's not something you like bring up. But if you didn't know, what they mad for? I don't understand why they would and be that's, And that's my point. I can't speak for Kyle, but that's my If they my didn't point. know, I don't, if it was like mid-conversation and you saying something, they'd be like, ooh, that is this for, like, that's triggering for me. You kept going with it, then yeah, that's your fault. But if you didn't know, then I don't, then there should be no, like, I don't understand why they would be upset. I didn't know. Well, I'm not going to say sorry because I didn't know. <laughs> for me, um, I actually had two different situations. One, I said to a lady that I thought that, um, let's say, she would be in group A. There was like say, some organization, right? And I was like, oh, you look like you would be in group A and not B. Because from my experience, <laughs> people who like her would be in group A. I hate that. <laughs> so she, I didn't even know, right? So the next time I went to um, this establishment, somebody said something to me, but she said, Did she say this? Because years ago, these people said, I was too ugly to be in like the group. Uh-uh. So that ain't had nothing to do with me. That was what happened to her years ago that she's still holding on to. But she needs to work through that. Exactly. And truthfully, from what I know, she didn't fit in group A. Oh, my like, Lord. You're standing 10 toes down. I'm standing 10 toes down. <laughs> from what I know. I'm not saying she can't be in that group, but from what I'm familiar with, she would not have been in group A. Mm-hmm. That's just period. The second situation was I asked somebody um, like a question like um, why you got your arm wrapped up? Like you you um, you trying to be a mummy today or something uh-huh. like that, right? This is a joking environment. We generally joke. Come find out this person has something wrong with their arm. I didn't know that, fam. I'm asking you. Why you got your arm? It's for nine degrees outside. Why you got your arm wrapped up like that? Instead of them saying... <laughs> You know I had surgery. Oh, they mad at me. Oh, <laughs> you gonna tell somebody? She, they, she said this to me, and my feelings was hurt. For what, man? Did you call me and say, "Hey, I had surgery yesterday"? Y'all talk about everything else, but the stuff you should be talking about. <laughs> People oh mad at me. Kai, I don't know if you want to tell your experience, but. Like, fam, that don't got nothing to do with me. I'm just going to say that they need to work through their issues. Um, and then, because you can't, people can't tiptoe around what triggers you. At what point do you do the work so that it doesn't trigger you anymore? And sometimes it's that simple and sometimes it isn't, but you still got to do the work. You can't expect everybody else to tiptoe around you because you don't want to do the work. 